I'll catch you guys up on a few things firstly. So our priority today is getting, I don't know if we'll finish the entire flower box today, but we're gonna, we're doing at least the beginning. We have to get level. I'm gonna lay down some cardboard. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Quickly, I wanna update you guys. I have lots of my radishes growing in my corn. I ended up sticking in an egg, egg box because I was afraid they would start rotting if I didn't get them in soil. They definitely need some water though. I have not checked my greenhouse yet. My sunflowers I planted as well. Uh, I'll show you guys that. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this hanging thing either since I planted the seeds. Uh, some pockets are not doing as well as others. Every single one of them has something that sprouted, but they're just starting to form these funky little leaves. Those are new, um, but they're all doing pretty well, whatever seed that ended up being because I threw in so many. Let's take a quick look in the greenhouse. I'm pretty sure we might need some watering in here. I know my peas are something to look at. We've had some nice days. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, my peas have definitely had some growth. I just checked them two days ago uh, and they weren't as open as this. They had little leaves coming up, but they were still rather close. So those were doing well and I wanna get those planted as soon as possible. No growth on lima beans, green pepper yet, watermelon either, but I'm pretty sure those take a long time to sprout. Marigold definitely have some little seedlings here. Oh yes! First sign of my lavender. This is the first day that I'm coming out to see signs of that sprouting. Um, my chives back there, nothing yet. And my cilantro and rosemary, nothing yet. Um, oh, these are more sunflowers that can go. They definitely need some watering, but I'm going to pull them out. Um, you know what, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a little bit longer in here, but they definitely need some water. Some more of my herbs. Oh, we got life in my time. Nothing in apple yet, I didn't suspect so, and nothing in cilantro yet either, but we do definitely have some new sprouts. I just want to give you guys a quick update. So we, I scrapped all, all of the mulch and all of the uh, plastic for now. We're leveling this entire thing, measuring it out. We're going to throw it down cardboard like I was talking about. Luckily, we have plenty of it left in recycling um, or we end up burning it after a while but I'll use it for the garden. Tomatoes, no real update on those. I've just been careful to keep those well watered. Sunflowers, these guys were planted, those were planted, and those were planted today. Everything else is older so you can see, oh no, the rock is crushing one of my sunflowers. Well, oh. branch of okay. Yeah, we're, so we're in the process. I was in the middle of moving all of this dirt because we have this huge divot in our driveway that just causes me to have to come in very carefully to not ruin my car. So we're going to use a lot of this extra dirt to fill in that patch and then we're just going to get separate dirt to end up filling in the flower box along with just some natural debris we find around the yard. So twigs, uh, leaves, ash from your fire pit uh, is great for growth actually in the garden but herbs are still doing well, potatoes are still doing well, I we still have some per perennials coming in. Strawberries, I've actually gotten two strawberries from so far and we do have two new blooms. So again, I think I'm gonna let these two kind of be my bloomers for this year. And when these two, why is there a coffee in my strawberries? I'm trying to grow coffee. <laughs> He's trying to grow coffee beans. <laughs> and these two are going to be my growers. So we have my growers and we have my showers. <laughs> these two, I'm going to run the lines when they start vining out. Um, and I put in like these Dollar Tree trellises to help me start vining them up. Um, you want, I like vertical gardening as, gardening as much as possible. But that's my little update. In my defense, I used to have a wheelbarrow and it broke. I just haven't gotten my hands on one, but let me tell you, this would have made it a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing over again and again and again. One other thing that I really wanted to do today was that I have this beautiful flower comes back every year and 
it comes back in bigger blooms. However, I thought that the same flower, I, saw, I thought the same flower was also planted in this one, but I'm only getting these little tiny white buds. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and add it to this one. So next year, both of these planters are filled with the same flowers, but these are really easy to grow. I wish I had my phone. I'll put it in the description what these are. Um, if I had my Google lens, I could tell you right now, but uh, I know butterflies are very much attracted to these flowers, but I just want to spread them out a little bit. Alexa, pause. Okay, you can see this plant has lived in here. You can see this plant has lived in here for a couple of years. Its roots are really well established. The soil is really compacted. So I dug a hole in my second one here. I'm just going to break up the root ball a little bit. Surprisingly, it was all growing on one side of the planter uh, in a large clump though, so it looked rather full. So I basically just took half of the clump and I'm just going to, oops, I may have taken the whole damn plant. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Hold on, I took the whole damn plant. <laughs> it didn't want to let go. Hold on, this is still connected. What is it connected to? Oh no, it's not connected. Wait a minute, what? I, don't, I can't tell if it's just tangled. I'm gonna leave it. I, I think it's growing out of the root still. I'm gonna... It's still growing from a root. So I'm gonna leave that part and just replant it. I gotta try to separate these. Okay. So one is obviously gonna have more than the other. I think I have a couple... Oh, it just came off. <laughs> Uh, I might have killed a couple of flowers in this process. It's okay though. They are um, really resilient flowers. I they, There was a time I didn't think anything was growing in here and they literally sprouted one year. So they don't necessarily have to be baby. They might not do well the first year, but keep watering it the following and they will sprout for you. So I'm just going to recover these with dirt, give them pl plenty of water because I think we're both traumatized after this experience. And uh, I'm going to go put them back. Lord knows I need a shower today. Holy smokes. <laughs>